Oh my god! <laughs> this tank is way too big for this back seat. I have no room. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog again. So, I'm getting another pet. This is the last for a while. And I'm going to film the whole process of creating the tank. So this is the tank. It is a 40 gallon. I just picked it up from someone on Facebook Marketplace. I got some gloves. We got some expanding foam. And what I'm gonna do is foam the entire back wall and then carve it. So that's what I'm gonna be doing first. So now that the back wall is foamed and the little plant holders are built into the back wall, I'm going to carve this out just to smooth it so it doesn't look so bubbly. And then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so I've carved it a little bit so these are more smooth and doesn't look so bubbly. I'm going to now take this silicone in the shade shade like this is makeup oh my gosh and the color almond and I'm gonna cover this all in silicone and stick this substrate to it this is just cocoa fiber substrate it's the same thing I used for my tarantula and it'll work fine I'm gonna use that for just the background and then work on the actual floor substrate later so I'll do that and then I will let you know what it looks like This is my last pet. I swear, until I have a solid house and Jonathan and I have moved, this is our last pet. He is with me on this, I promise. There's gonna be two parts to this. I don't know if they're gonna be separate or not, we'll see. But the first part is going to be setting up this whole terrarium thing that I've got going on. While I was setting this up, I was under the impression that I was going to be getting a ball python. I have since changed my mind. My dream snake is a boa constrictor imperator, a BCI. That's my dream snake. The problem is females get to be like eight feet long, sometimes longer. Um, and I was like, no, I don't think I'm ready for that. So I was gonna start out with a ball python, but I watched a really good YouTube video the other day and it said, just get the boa, basically. It's your dream snake, you're just gonna get a ball python and then something a little bigger something a little bigger and then get a boa and then you'll have a bunch of other snakes that you didn't originally really want and your one dream snake and maybe you'll end up getting rid of the other ones and i thought about it and i was like you know i'm a capable person i can do my research i am great with animals i can i can handle the boa so i'm getting a boa and it just so happens that this weekend is the indianapolis reptile expo which is my first time ever going to a reptile expo and i am so excited there's going to be plenty of tarantulas there too but i'm going to take a set amount of cash and no more <laughs> There are ATMs there, but I am not going to allow myself to use them. I'm taking a set amount of cash and that's it. Or else I will come home with a Pac-Man frog, a fat-tailed gecko, probably a ball python too, a Graham Stola pulchra tarantula, because I really want one of those. I mean, I would just come home with too much. So enjoy this vlog. I am not a hoarder, I promise. I only have two dogs, a tarantula, and a horse and now a snake. So that's only five pets. Come on, give me a break. So yep, it's gonna be fun. Jonathan, my dad, and my brother are coming. Possibly my sister. It's not really her thing. I don't know if she's gonna want to come, but it's going to be amazing. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy.
honestly because that red is so beautiful she's so interested in the phone do you, do you know where the camera is <laughs> you guys want the... dad look at there she is oh, yeah. she's not scared anymore see underneath she's like red The day after the reptile expo and I did get my snake. I will say that I got pretty nervous. We, the expo was from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Indianapolis and we got there around between 12 and 1 so I didn't want to go too late because I didn't want what I was interested in to be completely sold out. I also didn't want to go too early because the later you go, the more you're able to like barter a little bit to get lower prices. So it was kind of hard to figure out when exactly is the best time to go. So when we showed up there, I was looking for a boa. I wasn't looking for a certain locality or anything. I just know that I wanted a boa and I wanted a female. And also I took a certain amount of cash, so I had a budget that I did not want to go over because you could easily spend $3,000 on a boa. I, I was not going to do that. There's just no way. I don't even have $3,000, so there's that. So anyways, the expo was amazing. It was everything I expected it to be. They had everything there from tegus to um, chinchillas to opossums tons of tarantulas, insects, like lots of cool different things, and then snakes. They had so many snakes. And I would say like 95% of what was there was ball pythons. I was originally interested in a ball python, but I decided against it. Um, I really only wanted a ball python as a starter to owning a boa, but eventually I just had more confidence in myself and I was like, I'm just gonna skip the ball python and just get the boa. So that's what I ended up doing. But when we were there, we 
we're going around like in a circle at the expo and kind of winding through the tables from one side to the next of the building. And I was not seeing any boas. I saw like on an entire half of the warehouse, I saw maybe two or three boas and they were like $750. I did not want to spend that. And then there was also one breeding pair that was $3,000. So I was like, I don't think I'm gonna find my boa. I started to get really nervous. There was one person there that I really wanted to check with and he specializes in boas. And he said the first thing that he sold out of were the cheaper ones that I was looking for, the regular wild type normal boas, which I think are so beautiful. So he said he was sold out. It was the first thing he sold out of and my heart was just, dang it. Like I was just, I was defeated. I felt like I wasn't gonna find it. So, but then, I found a guy who was breeding ball pythons, but also a ton of colubrids. He had milk snakes, Mexican black king snakes, rat snakes, like a bunch of different things. And he had a male and female Central American boa for sale. And of course I wanted the female. It fit my budget. She was the perfect age for me. Absolutely beautiful and friendly. So I picked her up right there. I said, I'm not even bothering looking anymore. I'm buying it right now because I don't want to do another loop around and see what else is here and then come back and someone has bought her because she was the only female boa in this price range in the entire barn. After I bought her and I walked all the way around, it, it was true that she was the only one left. So I bought her. So I'm going to go get her. I'm going to bring her here and then I'm going to tell you all about her and show you her. And I cannot, I could not be happier. So I will be right back. So this is Soba. She is a Central American boa, boa constrictor imperator, and she is about seven months old. Her coloring is just incredible, I think. I love her scale pattern. I love everything about her. She is so inquisitive. She is so sweet. And I just couldn't be happier. She's exactly, exactly what I wanted. So she is eating frozen hopper mice once a week. Um, the issue with getting mice is the shipping. So you can order in bulk, but the shipping is like $30. So what I was able to do was find a exotic pet store and they sell steaks and stuff like that. So I was able to get partnered with them. So anytime they have a shipment, look at the, her belly scales, how pink and how beautiful this tail is. Can we just admire this really quick? This is why they're sometimes called red tail boas because of this tail. Hello, my name's Soba. She is so inquisitive. It is just the cutest, the cutest thing ever. So every time the pet store gets a shipment, they're gonna let me know so I can also have mine shipped with theirs. So I save on shipping and they get a little more money for what they have bought. So she is a, like I said, a Central American boa constrictor imperator. So the South American versions of these get much bigger and the females get bigger than the males. So if I were to get a South American BCI, she could get like seven to nine feet, sometimes 10 or 11 feet when they get older. And that's a little big. Honestly, that's, that's a little big. You'd have to get a custom made enclosure when they get that size and they might not even be on rats at that time. You might have to get them something even bigger than that. So um, the Central American localities of boas are smaller. She will probably max out at about seven feet, possibly eight feet when she's really up in age. And that's much more manageable. Where are you going? She's just, she's exploring. I named her Soba, which is a Japanese type of noodle, a Japanese buckwheat noodle so and she's a noodle so her name is soba and that sticks with the japanese theme in my house 
Uh, you saw her tank that's fully Japanese themed and she fits right in there. She will fit in that tank for a number of years before she has to upgrade to something a little bit more um, custom. So yeah, that's Soba. And sometimes people are worried when they sit in this S shape that it means they're going to strike. But boas naturally sit in this position quite a lot. So you just have to be good on reading their body language and their tongue flicks, which she has a nice relaxed body position. Her tongue is flicking. She's inquisitive. She's looking around. So she's content just sitting here right now. And I'm good at reading her body language so far. She is so beautiful. I can't wait for the first time she sheds. I have really good ideas of what I want to do with her shed skin. So if you have any questions about Soba or you want to know a little more about Boas, just leave some questions and maybe I'll answer them in a new video. Um, if you want some details on how I care for her, I can make another video like that. So yeah, if you could double check on that ban and maybe sign the petition so that that doesn't go through, that would be awesome. That is my dog <laughs> talking. I'll be just shush. I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Yes, I'll be right there. Okay. So if you have more questions, just let me know. And yeah. thank you for watching.